Hey guys, it's Chris. From tall glass bridges that crack when you walk on them, to scary bridges hanging from trees that might fall at just any moment, here are 15 of the most terrifying bridges in the world. Number 15. The Rising Bridge of Japan when it comes to bridges, some of them are built over waterways and canals, so they need to open up for boats to go under them. Typically, the bridges will halt traffic, open up mechanically, and rise so they can let the boats go through easily. However, in Japan, among other places, they take a more literal approach to this notion and just make the bridge a triangular shape so that boats can go under them while the traffic is still crossing. And I guess why not? There are many of these in Japan, including the Aishima Ohashi Bridge, which is known to be more of a roller coaster than a bridge or a road due to its massive slope. A reference to the big drops and slopes of roller coasters across the road. You might think that such a thing would be an oxymoron, given that other kinds of bridges that allow for boats to go underneath. But technically, this is less time and effort to make that happen. And considering that this bridge connects two Japanese cities, it allows for more fluid traffic and not random stops. Still, many are cautious when going over this bridge due to the slopes and the potential accidents between cars that can happen if wrong moves are made on either side. Number 14. Glass Skywalk There are many materials that a bridge can be made of, but one thing you don't expect it to be made of is glass. Specifically, on the walkway that you're standing on high in the air over a canyon. Yet in the Tianmen Shan National Forest Park in China, that's exactly what they have. What's more, it's the world's longest and highest glass bridge spanning two cliffs and stretching 1,410 feet over a 984-foot vertical drop. The bridge was completed in 2015 and was made by esteemed Israeli architect Haim Dotan. The reason for this bridge construction was to help accentuate the park itself, including helping others see the natural forests and cliffs that were all around them. Believe it or not, there are actually several skywalks, as they're called, including one in Canada and one in the United States. But given the glass skywalk's length and height above the ground, this is one that not many will want to travel across no matter how safe it is, including me. Number 13. The Vine Bridges of Japan Located in Japan are three hidden valleys. One of these valleys is known as the Westia Valley which includes the Ia River. To those who wish to cross the river on foot, they have to go across one of the most mysterious structures in all of Japan, the Vine Bridges. The reason for the bridge being so mysterious and arguably dangerous is that no one is quite sure how and when these bridges came to be. Specifically, no one knows who made them or why they made them in such numbers. At one time, there were 13 of these Vine Bridges spanning the river, but now there are just three. The reason for this is because over time, the bridges were either naturally deteriorated or taken down by locals. It took conservation efforts for certain groups for the three remaining bridges to be kept up. But even then, the bridges were reinforced with steel cables to keep them aloft. Though it's unclear who made these bridges, the documents of these vine bridges are rather robust, including how the massive vines were grown on one side of the valley and then woven together to make the bridges that are there now. Of course, even back then, these bridges were dangerous. They were built with no sides or rails to walk along, and so the bridges could sway heavily, to the extent that ones who dared to walk across the bridge would sway with it at times, making the bouncing worse or having the person freeze in place and not dare to go any further. Though that danger has been removed in these bridges now, they're still really dangerous as they're still comprised of the original vines that were made long ago. Number 12. Edgewy du Midi Bridge in France In France, there's a bridge known as the Edgewy du Midi Bridge. This is a bridge that connects a building to a mountain, and it spans a chasm that is rather deep and significant, as it's in a mountain range. In fact, it's 12,000 feet up in the air, so it's definitely not your typical bridge. But why is it so dangerous? The height on its own is not a helpful factor here, for if you fall off, you will die. But just as important, it's a very busy bridge and so people are crossing it in packs and groups. Therefore, if one person bumps into you the wrong way, it could just kill you. 
Plus, because of the cold temperatures, the bridge is sure to get icing and snow issues, with many pictures showing this to be the case, which is just another way for you to get hurt on it. Thus, people are very careful if they do dare to try crossing it. Number 11. Trift Bridge in Switzerland the country of Switzerland has a lot of bridges, but easily one of the scariest and most dangerous ones is the Trift Bridge. You'll find it in the Alps of Gamden, and it's a very long bridge. It's nearly 600 feet long, and it rests over 330 feet in the air. The danger here lies not in the height, though you would obviously die from such a fall if you land the wrong way. The real danger here is the construction. It's not a very wide bridge and anyone who has been on a narrow bridge knows that momentum can sometimes cause it to wobble. There's also not much room to maneuver, which could cause problems if you're not careful. Number 10. Royal Gorge Bridge If you were to head to Colorado in the United States, you would find quite a feat of engineering. Specifically, you'd find the world's largest suspension bridge. This is the Royal Gorge Bridge, and it's quite an impressive bridge, but it's also a very dangerous one, or at least it was. A suspension bridge is defined as a bridge in which the weight of the deck is supported by vertical cables suspended from larger cables that run between towers and are anchored in abutments at each end. And that's where the dangerous part comes in, for when this bridge was built in 1929, it didn't have any of the wind cables that are used to create a stable support for the bridge, which meant that it could be blown around by the wind. It was only in the last few decades that work was done to ensure that the wind cables were put into the bridge. Still, even with these fixes, many consider it unsafe. Number 9. Carica Reed Rope Bridge, United Kingdom Rope bridges are very popular in the world, but they're a bit outdated in terms of structure and safety. Due to this, the Carica Reed Bridge in England is definitely a dangerous bridge that you might have to cross one day. This bridge was actually created as a necessity for fishermen. They needed to get to Carrick Island, and to this day, it's the only way to get to the island still. But though it's only spanning a gap of less than 100 feet, it's still dangerous. This is a very old school bridge. The foot gap that you have to walk on is only suitable for one person, and it doesn't have a lot of leeway. It was more dangerous before certain fixes though, as the bridge originally had only one handrail, whereas now it's a bit more stable in that department. Number 8. Canopy Walk, Ghana You've likely seen canopy walks in the past, as these allow people to walk between trees and settlements in treehouse areas. However, if you go to Ghana, and specifically the Kakum National Park, you'll find a very unique bridge in the canopy walk. This is the only canopy walkway in the national park in all of Africa, and for good reason. You see, there's an inherent danger when putting a bridge up in a tree, or having it only rooted in trees, because if you mess up or if something happens to the tree, the entire walkway will come crashing down possibly with people in it, hence why there's only one in Africa that is sponsored by someone. Number 7. Cape William Moore Bridge in Alaska One big thing that can make a bridge dangerous is frequent use, which is why the Cape William Moore Bridge is rather dangerous. Built in Alaska all the way back in 1976, this bridge is popular with truckers, which is technically part of the problem. After all, trucks are heavy, and they're heavier when they carry loads of supplies across the bridge. Years of use and abuse have actually made it so the bridge bends when vehicles go across it. The only good news about this bridge is that it may not be around much longer, as it's been scheduled to be taken down, likely saving lives by doing so. Number 6. The Seven Mile Bridge Believe it or not, there have been two bridges called the Seven Mile Bridge in Florida. The first one was made and stood for some time until it was taken down due to boats not being allowed to pass under it. And the second one can be found in Florida right now and is an interesting feat of engineering. Take a second and think about it. This bridge had to be made over water for seven miles, and it's not a straight shot either. It bends and curves. So where's the danger? Well, despite its good construction, Florida is known for its tropical weather. And when a hurricane comes around, you won't want to be anywhere near this bridge, as you'll likely be blown right off of it. This is because there's no major safety rails on the bridge. There are basic barriers on either side, but they won't stand up to certain impacts, especially when hurricane-force winds are blowing cars and other vehicles at intense speeds. 
Number 5. The Poncher Train Causeway Most dangerous bridges possess a physical threat to a person, but in the case of the Poncher Train Causeway, this one poses danger to a driver's mind. Because though this is in Louisiana, this is actually the largest bridge over water in the world. And because of this, a certain illusion can play tricks on a person's mind, as there are points on the bridge where you can lose sight of the land and get the feeling that you're on a bridge with no end. And because the bridge is only 16 feet high, the stress of going into the water is very real too. This can cause drivers to make mistakes and thus have accidents. Number 4. Capas Bridge, Costa Rica In Costa Rica, there's a bridge known as the Capas Bridge, and it has a very interesting and depressing nickname, the Bridge of Death. This nickname is because of how the bridge looks, for while it does have steel in its construction, it doesn't look very sturdy given its wooden floor. Especially when you consider that this bridge is meant to be used by heavy vehicles, and is indeed used by them rather frequently. Those who cross it are always wary, for they fear that the bridge could collapse at absolutely any moment. Number 3. Monkey Bridges In Vietnam, there's a river called the Mekong Delta and it's too wide and too deep to cross on your own, so the natives made what they call monkey bridges, which to be honest are very loose bridges at best. They're made of bamboo and only feature a single wide shaft of bamboo for you to walk across. What's more, the bridge is segmented, so you'll have to carefully go from bit to bit in order to get across the delta. That alone is dangerous, but just as dangerous though is that to get across it, you'll actually have to watch the local monkeys and do what they do in order to get across, which is believable given that the bridge only has one hand support rail, and yes, that's made of bamboo too. Number 2. Kwandinsky Bridge, Russia Usually when a bridge is unsafe, it's because of forces of nature. But the Kwandinsky Bridge in Russia is more of a mix of dangers of nature mixed with the laziness of mankind. By this, we mean that this particular bridge has not been repaired in any way in over 30 years. Most bridges get work done every few years just to ensure that accidents don't happen. But on this bridge, accidents are almost assured to happen because of its wooden, rickety, and dangerous nature. To the credit of Russia, this bridge is officially closed to the public. However, daredevils and others seeking thrills still go to it all the time. Furthermore, it's not hard to get onto the bridge, as it's still fully intact and not blocked off entrance-wise. What makes this bridge so particularly dangerous is that it's only 6 feet wide on its road, and there are no guardrails to stop you from going into the water. Add to that, while much of the bridge is made of metal, the top level is made of wood, wood which can become very slippery to both cars and people. There was supposed to be another bridge made to help people of a village that was nearby, but it never came to fruition. Due to that, this bridge is the only option for some, which makes it a harrowing and dangerous bridge to try and cross, no matter how desperate you are. Number 1. Husani Hanging Bridge in Pakistan This is the bridge that has the dubious honor of being called the world's most dangerous bridge. And one look at said bridge will give you all the reason in the world to believe this. First and foremost, this bridge looks like something from the ancient days of bridge making, as it does not feature tight ropes and wood planks, but rather wooden logs and ropes and strings that all look rather flimsy, especially the ones that connect the top ropes to the wooden base. To anyone here who's not a bridge builder like me, the one thing you do not want to have is loose items both in terms of the walkway and the supports, and the Husani Hanging Bridge has that at every turn and corner. Walking across this bridge is without a doubt one of the most harrowing experiences you would have simply because every single step would be a risk to your life. You want to be very sure of yourself before you even dare to cross the Borat Lake in Pakistan. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these bridges that are incredibly terrifying for one reason or another? Can you believe that some of these bridges are used basically every day? Would you even dare to go across some of these bridges? Do you know of any other bridge that could have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on World List.